and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a spin transition. There are many ways to do it. We're going to use an adjustment layer that seems to be the easiest and the fastest. So right click in the project menu, new item adjustment layer. By default it should have the same size as your sequence, if not you can adjust it here and click on OK. Drag and drop it in your timeline and we want to adjust it. You can do so manually but it's better to do it numerically so right click on it, speed and duration. You want to pick a duration that is dividable by 2. So don't use odd numbers, in this case I'll just use 20 frames. Obviously the longer you make it the slower the spinning effect will be. Make sure it's in the center in your timeline, so directly on the cut. I know that it's 20 frames long, so I go to the center position, then I use the arrow keys to the left 10 times, and then I reposition this adjustment layer, and now I know it's in the center. Now we need a transform effect. Type it into your effects menu and drag and drop it on your adjustment layer. It's now here in the effect controls. If you can't see these menus, go to Window, Effects and Effect Controls. Just click on it and they should open. So here's the transform. At first we want to scale it. Don't be confused, you might see a scale for height and width. You can just check this box and now we only have scale. Go to the starting position and then click on the clock icon for scale. Then go to the center and we want to scale it up. 3 times should be enough, so 300. Then go to the end and make it 100 again. So this is what we've got now, it scales up and then down again, right at the cut. Now we want to rotate it, so we'll go to starting position once more, click on the clock icon for rotation, then go to the center 180 degrees, go to the end 360. Your keyframes should be generated automatically when you change the values. But you can see we've got these black edges right here when we spin it. One way to get around it is to go a couple of frames from the starting position forward, then create a new keyframe and only rotate it slightly, so in this case 5 degrees. Ah, oh, this one's not big enough, so I have to adjust it. And now I've gotten rid of all of these black areas and I've used 4 frames for this 5 degrees. Obviously you might have to change it for your footage, but for me it works, as I've said, 4 frames and 5 degrees. We have to do the same at the end, so go to the end, then 4 frames backwards. And then 360 minus 5 degrees, so 355, and this gets rid of the black areas at the end. And this is basically it. We can improve the results by giving it a directional blur. So go to effects once more, directional blur, then drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. If you have this effect right here, you need to reposition the directional blur in effect controls. Just drag it on top of the transform and that solves the problem. Under directional blur, go to the blur length, starting position. Click on the clock icon. Let me go these four frames to the right and then I use uh, let's say 10. Around 5 to 20 is a good value to test out. Then go to this position, so 4 frames before the end. And once again, create a keyframe. Then go to the end and set it to 0. Let me reposition this keyframe a little bit. I was off by 1 frame. So once again, what you want to do Create an adjustment layer, put it in the center, then use the transform menu, scale it up, then rotate it. Afterwards, you can add a directional blur. And this is how you can create this spin transition in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.